adding and subtracting fractions is as easy as 1, 2, 3, if you remember the basics. What do we need to know about adding and subtracting fractions? Fractions with unlike or different denominators cannot be added or subtracted. In other words, you can only add and subtract fractions if the denominator, that's the bottom part of the fraction, is the same. Let us break it down step by step. The rules apply to both addition and subtraction of fractions. Only add or subtract if the denominators are the same. Add or subtract the numerators. Your final answer must be in its simplest form. When you have different denominators, do this first. Choose one of the fractions. The one with the smallest denominator works best. Look for the lowest common multiple, or LCM, in order to make the denominator the same. Multiply the denominator with the LCM. Do to the numerator what you do to the denominator. Rewrite the fractions and only add the numerators. Remember that your final answer should be in the simplest form. There are a few methods that can be used to add and subtract fractions. We're going to practice adding fractions using the Singapore bar method first. Make sure to pause the video at any point in time to write down notes or to rewind to make sure you get it. Don't be shy, let's begin. Step one, write down your fractions. For example, one half plus one third. Now, draw the first fraction as vertical bars. Step two, draw the second fraction as horizontal bars. Step three, draw a common denominator by transferring grid lines onto both fractions. Fraction one, transfer two horizontal lines. Fraction two, transfer one vertical line. So, now you should have the following fractions. Your turn to give it a go using the Singapore bar method. Did you get 27 over 30 or 9 tenths? Here is an alternative method that you can use, the LCM method. This involves finding the lowest common multiple and changing the denominators, then adding or subtracting. Have a look at this example. First, we need to find the lowest common multiple of our denominators, five and seven. Then, we need to convert the fractions. And finally, we need to add the numerators. So our answer is 31 over 35. Lastly, if your fraction has a whole number, remember to turn it into an improper fraction before adding or subtracting. Follow these steps to add mixed numbers. Convert to improper fraction first, then add fractions if the denominators are the same, and then convert back to a mixed number. Don't forget to simplify your fraction if necessary. Now let's end it with a summary. Different denominators cannot be added. You need to make your denominators the same by finding the lowest common multiple, or LCM. Turn mixed numbers into improper fractions. Add and simplify. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.